live from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. In about 30 minutes, rainbow lights honoring the LGBTQ plus community will once again light up the Acosta Bridge after many raise questions about what happened to those lights last night. Emails show the Florida Department of Transportation asked JTA to turn off the lights celebrating Pride Month in response to complaints the department received. And News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott and I-Team investigator Kelly Wiley are continuing our coverage at 6 o'clock. We begin with Kelly, who's been following the paper trail. Kelly. Yes, the Acosta Bridge was supposed to be lit up in rainbow colors all this week to honor pride, but we found in email records that a Florida DOT employee called and emailed JTA trying to get them to turn it off. Within 12 hours of Jacksonville's Acosta Bridge being lit up to celebrate Pride Month, state officials were calling for it to be turned off. The bridge was supposed to be reflecting rainbows into the river for the rest of the week. Public records show a Florida Department of Transportation official in its Jacksonville urban office called and emailed JTA officials saying they would received several complaints regarding the color scheme on the Acosta Bridge. And to adhere to the permitted color scheme, the permit allows eight color schemes limited to holidays like Christmas and Halloween or teal for the Jaguars and pink for breast cancer awareness. But pictures of the Acosta Bridge throughout the year show this is not the first time the Jacksonville Transportation Authority has deviated from the permit, like these colors for former Clemson football player Trevor Lawrence coming to Jacksonville, or this color scheme recognizing Women's History Month and this one celebrating Black History Month. But the Pride Month color scheme is the first time the JTA has been told it's out of compliance. This is not the only instance of this happening. The Herald Tribune reported the Florida Department of Transportation rejected a request from Sarasota to light the Ringling Bridge for Pride Month. In 2020, Florida DOT made a new policy narrowing the color schemes that were permitted. Michael Florida Womack with Equality Florida uh, says this is the latest instance of the, the state itself, targeting the LGBTQ you know, community. The governor has declared war on Florida's LGBT community, and it's not just related to light. It's related to him signing the first anti-LGBT bill in 24 years in this state. It's about him vetoing money for pulse survivors uh, on the five-year remembrance of the event itself. And, you know, we're not standing for it. And the governor's office is saying they had nothing to do with this decision. They said in a statement it would be absurd to think otherwise. We want you to know that we've put in public records requests to figure out who was sending in the complaints to Florida Department of Transportation and to figure out ultimately who made the final call to get in touch with JTA and ask them to turn it off after they got these complaints. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station. Kelly, thank you. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett has been following the story since last night. He has talked with many behind the scenes who fought today to get the lights back on. He's joining us live from right near the bridge. Jim? You know, Tom, we heard from Kelly that DOT saying this is a compliance issue, but many are still saying this is all a political issue because they said there was never a problem before when the lights were put on for other events. When the rainbow lights across the Acosta Bridge were blazing, it was a matter of pride for many. When they turned blue last night, it sent a signal to others, like Jimmy Mignette, an LGBTQ plus activist. Here we go again, that there was some kind of homophobic decision that resulted in those lights going out. The fact that they're coming back on today, what do you think that says? I think it says that our community, the LGBTQ community, has organized and agitated for 24 hours and called in every favor we know and made, our, made a big noise, and I'm really happy that, it, that it's worked. So I've been reaching out to Mayor Curry's office to see if they have any statement regarding all of this. Well, the mayor's not talking on camera about this issue. In fact, they're keeping a hands-off approach and saying this involves the state and JTA. This also has some state leaders calling into question how all of this came about. I was taken aback uh, by that happening. State Senator Audrey Gibson says she was on the phone early this morning questioning the head of Florida's DOT, Kevin Tebow, about why they ordered the lights turned off. Kevin, come on. Well, they've been doing it and 
it's not permitted and technically it needs to go through a, a resolution process to show city interest. I said, so is that just this time? Because it looks like selective uh, enforcement. Um, no, it's all the time. Okay. But that decision still has many questioning why the Pride celebration was turned off and other similar displays were never questioned. So as we heard, it came from the uh, local office. Some complaints were phoned in at that time, and there's really a no record, at least what I'm hearing from DOT, there are no records of who made those phone calls and those original complaints. We're live at the base of the Acosta Bridge. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Jim. And News for Jack's insiders are commenting on this story. User Carmen says, yes, thanks, Jacksonville, for doing the right thing. And David writes, the government should really not support any social agenda. That should be done by private groups. You can comment, too, by signing up and signing in. Just go to newsforjacks.com slash insider, create a free login, and then comment at the bottom of the story on our home page. And we also invite you to take part in our You Say poll. We're asking, do you agree with the decision to turn the rainbow lights back on? And right now, the majority of you are saying no. You can vote by going to newsforjacks.com slash you say, or on the News for Jacks app, look under the community tab and select You Say. And we'll have your results coming up starting at 530.